Hey, I'm Fuji, and welcome to Tiny Kitchen Big Taste. We've got a sophisticatedly cheesy show for you today. We're making Frico. Now, Frico are these amazingly delicate, thin, crispy wafers of Parmesan cheese that are great on their own or pair perfectly with soups and salads. I got two ways to make one amazing recipe. We're making Frico. We're making Frico. We're making Frico. Y'all, y'all ready to bring it? So what you're going to need is finely grated Parmesan cheese. That's it. You'll also need, for the oven method, a baking sheet, silicone baking mat or parchment paper, and an offset spatula. For the stove method, a non-stick frying pan, silicone spatula, and tongs. Now I first had Frico when I was waiting tables in a fancy dancy Italian restaurant. Our owner would pass it out to our best customers and soon word got out and people were asking us to put it on the menu so you know it's that good. Now in Italian, Frico is just slang for something fried and today we're frying Parmesan cheese. Now you can use any type of Parmesan cheese you like but I encourage you to get the best of the best Parmigiano Reggiano, the king of Parmesan cheese. It's usually available at most grocery stores. If you can't find it, ask your cheese butcher, your cheese monger, the cute person in the cart next to you. Just ask somebody, it's there, I promise. So we're gonna start with the traditional stove method. And as you can see, I have constructed a very elaborate cooling system here out of a couple of cans and a rolling pin, but use whatever you got lying around the house. Now, I've got a non-stick frying pan over medium high heat, and I am using a tablespoon measuring spoon so I can get consistent Frico every time. We go ahead and just sprinkle the cheese onto the frying pan, trying to get it into a nice long strip. Then I will take the silicone spatula, clean up our sides here just a little bit. And as you can see, it start to brown on the sides. I start at one end, just lift it up just a little bit with the silicone spatula. I get the tongs and peel it off the nonstick frying pan, flip it over, and then we'll just let it crisp up on that side for just a few seconds. We will then take our freshly fried Frico and lay it on our very refined cooling system. And this is great if you're making it for one or two people as an appetizer. Sometimes you gotta make more though. And in that case, the oven method could not be more simple. We just place a heaping tablespoon of cheese onto our baking sheet. Spread that out with our fork. We wanna make each one about three to three and a half inches in diameter. I'm gonna pop this in a 400 degree oven for about three to five minutes or until it's perfectly golden brown. No flipping required. Now I've let these cool on the pan for just about a minute and like the traditional method, you can just drape it over your cooling system to let them dry. You can also create some neat shapes out of them. Throw it over a bowl, you'll create like a little cheese bowl. I also like to make little fortune cookies out of them. Fold them in half, put a little dimple right there in the middle. Let them cool in a bowl. Stick a fortune in it, let's plate them up. So check this out, Frico, so many different ways as an appetizer, as an after dinner fortune cookie, in soups, and as a salad bowl. Hey, if you like this recipe, you can find it on our website. You can also check us out at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And when you try this recipe, please let us know about it in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Fucci reminding you that if I can get Frico in a kitchen this tiny, you can get Frico in yours. We'll see you next time on Tiny Kitchen, Big Taste. Yum, 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 yum. Ask a certified cheese expert. Ask a fromager. Ask Google. Ask a person in aisle six, aisle seven, aisle eight. Ask my cameraman. Ask me. Just ask somebody. Get your freak on. Get your freak on.